Sky Profit, baby. I'm back with another video for you. Hope your day going good. Everything that you thinking, all of those thoughts that you grabbing, since you open your eyes, since you open your eyes, I hope they all positive. I hope they all beneficial. I hope they all within a sharing and caring frame. Once again, blessings, guidance, and protection. Integrity, strength, focus, and understanding. Each individual out there. No exceptions. Never no exceptions. Listen. The only exceptions you have will be the ones that you came here with. And even that is not an exception. And I'm saying that because how individuals look at things, you know, so linear, you know, like you got somebody that that can walk and you got somebody that can't walk and you say no exceptions and people see a difference right there. I'm not getting into all of that. You just got to understand the wonders of things. You got to understand that your soul, it picks different vessels to come live out and experience to straighten the mind frame to elevate consciousness to rise in vibration okay so let me ask you something if you could pick listen if you can pick whatever vessel whatever body whatever person whatever individual if you can pick what vessel that you want to arrive, come into when you come to this earth? Would you pick, would you pick one that's, that's, that's so-called handicapped? Would you pick one like that? Everybody would say no. I'm not saying everybody, but all of, all of y'all that said no, I get it, but I don't get it. And when I say that, I mean it like this. I get it, but at the same time, understand evolution, understand growth. Can you see any kind of lessons, any kind of direction, any kind of wisdom, knowledge or understanding that individuals should get out of situations like that? If a person can't walk, wouldn't they have to have an individual to take care of them? Okay, so that individual that's taking care of them, what about if that individual is going through things, trying to straighten up their mental, the way they discipline and focus themselves? What if that soul in that vessel that's handicapped came so that person can be still, so that person can further understand the love for the next individual, how individuals truly need help, whether we think so or not. What about the individual that's so-called handicapped? What about if that soul in that vessel is here to understand how to be still, how not to be so mobile, ripping and running, how to be still so you could hear, how to keep a peaceful, humble state of mind when you in situations to where you know you physically need help how to keep your composure, how to understand its place and time, how to understand sometimes people have things to do, how to understand that the world just doesn't evolve around one of us. Like, what about all of those lessons within that? Okay? These windows. It's windows where spirit allowing you to see. 
you don't see it, but it's a quick glimpse. It's a quick image. You know, you wake up and, oh, yeah, man, you, whatever it is, each individual, but y'all get it. Y'all with me? Them windows, that spirit allows you to see yourself in a place or space, straightening your act, getting it together. Understand this. It's a thin line with these windows. Just as fast as spirit give it to you and you catch the glimpse and maybe your heart pump a little quicker for them couple of seconds. You got this program that's already a part of you that you have trained to say, I ah, don't worry about it. Later. Not right now. You have parts of yourself that's like that. And while I'm saying, talking about that spirit, let me, want me to tell you this. If you're not connected to spirit, to source, to God, to the creator, at all times, at all times, into your discernment and intuition, sometime when you're moving around within this life, you're not going to hear there's not going to be no voices to tell you not to do it. It's not going to be that third language that you should hear. You're not going to hear that don't do it. Because if you're not connected to spirit, your ego is not going to tell you. Your ego is not going to inform you not to do it. The importance of being connected to spirit is so you always have. You always have that guiding light within your situations, whatever situation you're in. It doesn't matter, but you always have that guiding light. Think about the things you've experienced in your past, the hardships, the heartaches, the pains, the confusions, what didn't work out for you, what you was just mad. It didn't go your way. All that. Think about all that. Each one of y'all listening to Prophet right now, you want to avoid that as best you can. I know that. You can say your heart. You can say whatever. I walk through whatever you want to say. Each one of y'all, y'all rather avoid that. That's not good vibrations. That's not a good frequency. That's not a good frame of mind. All right? That's the benefit of connecting to your higher self. That's the benefit of you allowing your soul to come out within this lifetime. It's many individuals. It's every individual has a soul inside of them. It's many, 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 many individuals live lifetime after lifetime and don't come in contact with their higher self. Don't build that friendship with their higher self. Maybe listen here and there, but don't truly understand the guidance. Right now, this is the times you're in. You being given the guidance, the information, and not only that, spirit got you plugged in. It's resonating. You feel it. It's those feelings beyond, beyond what you can see. Everybody have it. Everybody's activated. Everybody's activated. A lot of people being stubborn. Spirit telling you what to do and you being stubborn. Spirit saying, hey, look, this what's up. You just being stubborn. Prophet ain't got no advice for that other than, man, listen to spirit, man. Spirit gonna guide you the right way. Is a reason that you get a thought within yourself of a correction, of correcting you in any kind of way. That's not the kind of world you live in. You don't live in that kind of world. Go take you a walk. Just go take a walk. Walk for an hour and see how many people going to come out of their house when you pass. And just give you some good news just because. Ain't nobody come and tell you nothing. You just out there walking. You out there walking. But the whole time you're walking, you got God within. You got spirit. You got source. You got the creator. 
with you every step. Stop, stop, stop moving to where you can't decipher those thoughts, to where you can't decipher those feelings, to where you can't decipher what you actually supposed to be seeing. Mind over matter, mind over matter. When you're dealing with the mind, where is your mind? Can you give it to me? Can you show it to me? Can you bring me to anywhere and, and, and let me see a mind? No, you can hear it though. You can hear the mind. It expresses itself. You see the you see the you see the faults within the mind. You see the things that need to be corrected within the mind. You see the things that's that's fixed, that's perfect within the mind. You see the hate, the love. The jealousy, the end. you see all these things within the mind, but you don't see the mind. Because the mind is unseen. But matter, you can see. You can see all matter. That's why mind over matter is so important. Because it translates back to that, that Bible scripture that tells you not to go by what you see. Not to go by what you see. We going to make it make sense. We going to make it make sense for the simple fact of this. We all been in a blind. The true information that you needed for yourself. To have you on a higher vibration and frequency. You haven't been able to have that. You attaining that right now. Right now you attaining it. So you've been in these cycles. So what we've did is learned a fraction of what actually exists, a fraction of what actually is out there, a fraction of what each individual is even made of or has in them. It's just a fraction. So we all been part time. We all been part time, part time. A lot of y'all right now, y'all listening. Y'all thought y'all was the shit. Y'all thought y'all was where y'all need to be. Y'all all that shit. We all been part time. We all been in the blind. It ain't no benefit for our soul when we laughing and joking at, at stuff that's not beneficial. Understand that love raises your vibration. Love smiles. It raises your vibration. Every smile is not out of love. Every laugh and giggle is not out of love. It's not. Out, it's just not. It's just not. Understand this. If it's not out of love, it's nothing wrong with that. You got to take hold and understand it's a form of you venting. It's a form of you revealing your program that you have inside of yourself to yourself. It's a form of you being able to listen to yourself like other people get to listen to you. But if you don't make it make sense, you're not using the senses that you have because everybody has senses. You got more senses than they taught you you had, than they told you you had. So if we're not making it make sense, that don't, that, that's ignorance. Because it's supposed to, we meant to, and spirit makes show of it. Listen to Prophet, man. One of the most important phrases you're going to hear is this. That same phrase out of that Bible. You got to open up your heart. You got to open up the door and allow spirit, God, source, the creator to come in and show you your magic, your majesty, your majesty. But this is the thing. Opening the door, opening the door is you being open-minded for all new things. You being open-minded to be introduced to a new way of things, a new way of feeling, a new way of viewing, a new reality. Okay? And you opening up your heart is you not being closed off to the next individual. It's you not holding feelings that don't apply to individuals. 
but you giving it to them because it's something that a part of your program, you holding it. If it's a part of you, it's not no telling who going to get it whenever you it's triggered. Whenever the trigger go off, whoever it is right at it, that's who get it. That's how you shaped. That's how you've trained yourself. You've trained yourself. You know how back in the days, you know, people... I remember they used to be like, man, you if you put something on the shoulder, if they if they knock it off, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be ready like that, you know, like that type, that's you're brave and all that. It, it it's it's things like that that subconsciously is inside of you. You your feet move like that. Your feet move just like that. Because listen, when I opened my eyes this morning, it been spirit ever since. Ever since. That's how my feet moving too. That's our prophet feet moving. I'm not better than you. You ain't better than me. We won. We won. Just as I'm telling it to you, we can wipe this slate clear and you could just be telling it to me. It ain't a big deal. Because when we leave, we healed. We fixed. We know. We better. Prophet wants you to protect your energy, protect yourself to and from. Watch your surroundings, man. Watch what you're taking ears. Watch what you give out your mouth. Let me tell you about your mouth, man. Everything the next individual here is the exact same thing you get to hear. Yeah, well, I know that, Prophet. No, you don't know that. No, you don't know that. Because that's just like somebody telling you. You a certain thing. That's like somebody when you being when you bullshitting somebody. That's like somebody telling you, man, you cold in a motherfucker at bullshitting people. That's what you hearing. Because that's what you seeing. That's the reality you in. Overnight, you can't do it. You can't do it. The only thing you can do overnight is rest. Is rest. Is rest. When you open your eyes, remember who you are. Remember what you're supposed to be working on. Remember where you're supposed to be going. And remember the ones coming behind you. Heart placements and heart spaces, man. Till next time, bro. Love everybody, man. Sky Prophet, baby. Ah, peace out.